in the rural uh, West Bengal, rural South Bengal rather, where we got some resource persons together, you know, all stalwarts in their own field. So we identified four resource persons, put them in a car and we went to these uh, villages where they actually stationed themselves for three or four days and it continued from one village they kept going to another. So it was a hurricane uh, trip for about 20, 24 days covering six, seven villages where what essentially happened was over a period of three to four days, we trained them in certain modules that we had developed keeping them in mind. One of the modules was community development so we, where we actually trained them about the holistic development of the community through a bed and breakfast ecosystem where they could convert their own houses into B&B or homestay establishments where they could uh, offer accommodation and meals to visitors. The second module was on uh, developing their ICH or intangible cultural heritage. Now these villages were famous for one or the other intangible cultural heritage. Some were potter's villages, some were where they made beautiful toys, some were famous for uh, the weaves, some were famous for scroll paintings, some were famous for performing arts, for example the Baul cult of West Bengal. Now how to, you know, uh, harness that that capacity, that cultural heritage and project it, market it to the international community, to the international market. So that was another key focus area for us. And the last module that we concentrated on was storytelling and guiding because we realized that nobody could be better guides to a visitor than the people themselves, the villagers themselves. So this was a very holistically designed uh, program comprising these four modules that I just spelt out to you. You know, the kind of response that we got after these programs ended and the trainers returned to their cities, they constantly received calls, they went out, they came up to us and they told that we are so happy that, you know, our, the people that we trained actually want to take this forward, they're so serious about it, they're calling us, they're, they're maintaining contact over WhatsApp. You know, there are certain pain points that are associated with rolling out sustainable tourism. Uh, our moderator asked me to speak about policy making. A good academic understanding of the subject makes it very easy to make a policy. But to put the policy into action, I'll give you a very small example. We all have these, these glass water bottles here. Having been a hotelier myself for a good decade, I know the pain point associated with not having plastic water dispensers and bottles at a banquet function of more than 100, 150 people. So the fact that this hotel, uh, our hosts, Vivanta, have been doing it is actually shows us, shows us that if you, if you want to do it, there's not going to be excuses around it. You can actually do it at whatever the cost. <laughs>